Well, hello, how are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog video. If you're curious on what I am doing today in my room, basically I want to share with you, to everybody out on YouTube, basically, about this Blu-ray ROM drive, basically. This is an internal drive, but you can kind of see I turned it into external by USB. Now, of course, the DVD drive portion of it does work, so does the Blu-ray. But remember, if you don't have software in your computer to play Blu-ray, well, the Blu-ray drive is not really going to work. Uh, for you, but you have to have software. It's nothing wrong with my HP computer, it's nothing wrong with the USB cable, and it's also nothing wrong with the case or my drive. Basically, it's just all software based. Now I'm going to show you how to install software to able to play your Blu-ray movies. Basically, a Blu-ray disc movie like this, and I know this is Blu-ray because this is not mine, this is actually my dad's, actually, and because it's in a blue case, this has both DVD and a Blu-ray as well. But what is the problem, and why won't this work? Well, it will work after you install software. That's basically how Blu-ray kind of works. You have to have software to be able to watch the high-quality Blu-ray disc. Let's go ahead and show you what I mean. Alright, I'm going to hook this up to my computer without any type of software and show you what the problem is. And after that, I will install software. Why do you need a Blu-ray drive? Why can't you just put your Blu-ray drive in your laptop? Well... First of all, it's too big. It does not fit this laptop. The drive in that one is 10 times thinner. And yes, it is a DVD drive ROM, basically. But not all computers are going to have a DVD drive or a Blu-ray drive in it. Because most companies are getting rid of them, but you can still buy them today in 2017. But you're going to say... Why do you need to watch Blu-ray on your laptop? And you can just get a Blu-ray uh, player for your TV. Well, you can do that too. But I had this drive laying around for four years and I want to utilize it, basically. But the only problem with that, because now it's external, means you, guess what, have to carry more cables, your external Blu-ray drive, and all sorts of fun stuff. Let's show you what I mean. Basically, here is everything laid out on my desk. Again, this is my LG Blu-ray uh, drive. Okay, external by USB. My laptop. And, of course, a couple different movies. These are actually basically the same movie. But one is on Blu-ray and one is on DVD. Now, you're going to say, Chris, it's not able to work without software. Well, no. Not really. My computer recognizes it perfectly fine. But anytime you put a Blu-ray in the Blu-ray uh, drive here, you don't know what Blu-ray is, you have two different eyes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Blu-ray right here. And I'm going to stick it in the Blu-ray drive, if I can get it to push down here. There we go. That's how they get it clicked on nicely. Yeah, have a listen to it. It will spin up nice. But it won't load on my computer. So, Chris, you already have software in your computer to play Blu-ray. No, I do not. Okay. Blu-ray is a more 
HD format than DVD, basically. If you can see, Blu-ray drive is all hooked up by its USB cable to the back. Now you can see I can read the disc right here, but even if I click on it, it's not going to do anything. Now let me minimize that, and let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and go to the Cyber Link right here. The Cyber Link software. Click on that. Now, it will load. Don't worry about the registering it now. Let's go ahead and exit that. But basically, even if I would push the play button on it, you can hear it reading the disc. But guess what? Here's what it says. Does not support this media software. And how do you get Blu-ray to play on your laptop? Exit all of that. And go to your favorite uh, site, basically like Google, and type in Blu-ray software. Now, of course, you have different types of software you can also buy as well if you choose. But if you want to play Blu-ray, you go to this one right here for Windows. Go ahead and click on it. Of course, you have to install it first. It says it's 100% free. It's just a playable, basically. You download the software, and it will actual download on your computer right here. And of course, you still have to install it. And I will come back when it's done downloading, and we can install the software. Say, Chris, you could have just bought a Blu-ray drive for your computer. Yeah, I know, but you still have to have software for it to work. It's no point of buying a Blu-ray drive if your Blu-ray drive does not come with software. But let's go ahead and install the software and basically show you what I mean. Okay, let's go. Basically, everything is still hooked up the same way. Nothing has been disconnected or anything like that. But let's go ahead and install the software. And of course, you have to agree uh, with the software as well. Basically, you would hit the yes button. I do agree. Now, what's that going to do? It's now going to install. Of course, it's not going to install just yet because you have to do some more. Uh, uh, stuff here, uh, alignment, agreement, and all sorts of uh, awesome, lovely stuff. Now, all you have to do is now you hit the install button. And what that's going to do is that going to install the software for you can play your Blu-ray movies off of your Blu-ray drive onto your laptop or even on your desktop computer. But basically, Blu-ray is a better uh, disc than uh, DVD. But you can kind of see what it says right there. Kind of interesting, should I say. Very cool. I am still installing. Alright, alright. Now it's time to say finish. Hit the finish button. And what's that going to do? It'll load up this little window there. Go ahead and minimize that. Go ahead and close out of that. Close out of all that. Oh, and one thing is, I gotta make sure I turn my sound off uh, for no copyright uh, issues. But basically, there you go. Now, does it play? Now, of course, it's gonna take a couple minutes for it to load. But basically, my light is flashing. Here is the drive. You can hear it spinning up nicely. But on this little corner here, it is loading software. Or loading the disk, should I say. Oh, freak out. It says, oh, this software is junk. This software doesn't work or anything. It's taking forever for it to load. 
Well, of course, it's going to take a little bit of time for it to load because remember, it's reading information off of the Blue Ray disk with the Blue Ray drive by USB. Now, of course, does it work? Let's show you. It works fantastic. All right. We have it somewhat in full screen right here. I do have the sound off, but I can turn the sound on for a little bit, for you can hear it does work. Okay. My Blu-ray drive is working, should I say. Perfectly fine. No issues with the software or the hardware itself. You gotta have to have hardware, software, and everything else for stuff to able to work. Basically, if you don't understand hardware or software, but what does that basically mean? Well, okay, you have a Blu-ray drive, but you also have a laptop, but you got no software to able to play your Blu-ray. Once you install software, it will work perfectly fine. But yes, the reason why I didn't show you the whole uh, video is because it's all, again, copyrighted uh, stuff as well but you know what I think it's awesome I'm going to like it a lot uh, to play blu-ray on my laptop I think it's pretty interesting should I say now you're gonna say Chris why can't you fit your blu-ray drive into your new laptop well first of all it's not going to fit because it's too thick and the drive in this is a little bit thinner because of technology will change over time. But you're going to say, why do you need an external if you already have a DVD drive? First of all, I want to able to experiment with Blu-ray movies. That's what this uh, Blu-ray drive here is for. But yes, I had this thing sitting around for four years now. And basically, I finally got a case to use it externally by USB. Now, it's nothing wrong with the drive itself, nothing wrong with the case, nothing wrong with the USB, and it's nothing wrong with my computer. It is all basically software based. You can buy software to able to play your Blu-ray movies, but hey, you know what, have some fun and Google it and see what free Blu-ray software you can use to play your Blu-ray movies. Now what's the difference of a DVD and Blu-ray? Well, what's the difference is the format. Um, the format is going to be different from Blu-ray versus DVD. And this is both. It does have Blu-ray and uh, DVD. Now, you're going to say, Chris, why do you make it that way? Well, because you do, because some people don't always have a Blu-ray player. Like, I don't have a Blu-ray player on my TV. But I hope this kind of helped you to how to install some software onto your laptop. But make sure you have an antivirus as well. I always recommend you buy the software instead of getting a free version of it. But there you go. If you guys and girls are going to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the next vlog. Have fun with your blue eyes.